There are two main uh, laser eye surgery treatments. Uh, the first and the commonest, the one that most people have heard about, is LASIK, which is L-A-S-I-K. And that's the one that involves creating a flap in the cornea. And so patients have often, if they're, if they're investigating it or researching it, they will have often come across the principle of carrying out this procedure where there's a flap in the cornea, followed by the laser procedure that actually changes their prescription for glasses, and the flap is then replaced, and that's a LASIK procedure. Around 90% of patients are suitable for LASIK, but there will be patients who are not suitable to have the flap created in the cornea, and there are two main groups. Firstly, if their cornea is too thin, or if their prescription is a bit too high, or it may be a combination of the two things. If somebody has a thinner cornea and a slightly higher prescription, it's safer just to work on the very surface of the cornea, not to, hatch, to have to go inside the cornea or split the cornea or create a flap. And so that particular treatment is called LASEK, which is very confusing because it's very similar in terms of the, the, the acronym. But LASEK, L-A-S-E-K, um, you might say that the E stands for easier or more superficial. And that is a very useful adjunct uh, to our laser treatments because it allows us to treat slightly higher prescriptions or slightly thinner corneas. The problem with LASIK is that the recovery is much longer. So whereas with LASIK with the flap, it might be 48 hours, sometimes patients see 20-20 the following day. With LASIK, it can take a good week to 10 days to settle down. And we have to warn patients having LASIK that they have to take time off work. So, the second group that would benefit from LASIK would be patients who might get trauma to their eye. So if they are boxing seriously, if they take it uh, as a competitive sport rather than just for fitness, if they're doing a lot of rugby, where they deliberately, of course, poke each other in the eyes, uh, apparently. Usually that's the opposite team doing that, not the members of the same team. Um, but any gouging or anything where somebody might get a fingernail in the eye, um, police, military, people who are in danger of, of having some sort of combat or some sort of rough and tumble sport, we would tend to recommend that they would do LASIK because it's just on the surface, there's no flap to come loose, there's nothing to get dislodged, and so for that particular small group of patients, it represents about 5% of what I do, um, it's, um, it's a safer option for them.